Okay, they just got home. This is the stuff that I bought. John's already looking at my Charizard slippers. All right, guys, the workers have left for the day, and this is their progress. The wall looks amazing. They just need to do finishing touches. They need to insert the um, the countertop, and then they're gonna finish the tiling down below, and they're gonna finish this as well. They're gonna finish. They're gonna insert the countertop and then finish down below and then finish up top. It looks amazing. Here's Zach. And we're getting dinner ready. We just got these roasted chickens from um, Costco. What we like to do is heat the oven up to 375, throw the chickens in there and then get them all crispy and nice and delicious. But oh, I'm so obsessed right now with the wall. It looks so amazing. Morning guys. Today is Friday, February 3rd. Check out my room. I kind of have it cleaned up a little. I still need to figure out what I'm exactly gonna do, but I wanted to show you guys the entryway, cause he's gonna do, look at that, that looks really cool. This little baby, you're sitting on the stool, and this one is sitting on the sofa. Look at my sofa, I just mix matched all the different blankets, <laughs> cause when I had only one blanket, it would fall over, anyway. I have a pile of Tsum Tsums, probably why the kids live in here. Hey, don't stand on that. So we're just donating a bunch of stuff. I have like two big boxes and then some furniture in John's car. So we're going to drop these off at the Goodwill right now. And we're going to go to the Goodwill really quick. Okay, guys, we're at the loading dock for the Goodwill, as you can see back there. So I'm going to drop off this stuff. I don't know where my brother went. Maybe he got here already before me, but he was before me. So hope he didn't get lost. <laughs> but I'm going to drop off this stuff right now. And then we're going to go inside. We are here at the Goodwill. And I am so excited because I haven't been in quite some time. If you guys want to see more thrifting videos, hit the little eye right there. A little link will pop out and you can hit the button for more videos. Yes, playlists. That's what they are. I also have it down in the description box down below. But here we are going into my local Goodwill. This one is just like a mile or so. No, maybe a couple miles from my house. So let's go inside and see what we can find. Look at that Louis Vuitton bag. Do you guys think it's real? Let's go ask to see it. Oh, there's also a toy. Hey guys, both bags are fake. So we're just gonna look here and see what bags are here. I can see the telltale signs of Balenciaga-like handles on this bag. I think I saw this last time. By Hillard and Hansen. Nine West. Fake Louis. Victoria's Secret. Is this like a Michael Kors bag? It feels, yeah, it's totally fake, but MK. So plastic inside, $30. And the thing came off. Of course. Oh wow, these look like large knitting, 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 knitting needles. Ten dollars. What's this? Don't know what this is. This is cute. Hmm, can't really find anything good. I feel like they got a lot of new stuff in though, but oh look at this Gucci. Also fake. Let's see what the price is. $6.99. Check that out. A $6.99 fake little Gucci bag. There's a guest right there. Ooh, look at this. Let's see what this is all about. Does it have any? No, nothing. It's kind of cool though, I like the eyes. Ooh, look at this. This is interesting. Forever 21. It's kind of cool. And it has, oh, it comes with a little wallet thing. 
Nice. Mm, oh, another one of those knitting bags. Oh, look at this fringe. This is fun. Too bad they're pleather, but still cool. More fringe, Forever 21 for sure. They have so many bags. This looks like a fake Marc Jacobs bag. And it's Maximum. Don't know what brand that is. Plaid Poppy. This is kind of cute, but I think it's Forever 21 also. Okay. Bottega Fono. Oops. Oh my gosh, I accidentally kicked this very large bag. V oh, it's a Victorina bag. Maker's original Swiss Army knife. Let's see how much this guy is. Seven ninety nine. It's kind of huge and dramatic, but like kind of fabulous. I don't know. Do you guys like this? It feels like I don't even know. It's like huge. This is like a good travel bag, I think. And this is like this is like their signature, really like um, strong, pliable. Like it feels like um, what is that fabric called? Like a bulletproof vest. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold on to it and see if I can find a mirror to show you guys how fabulous it looks. You guys, look at what I just found. It's a bark in bag. This little tag, it's like a doggy bricking dog bag. And you can carry your dog inside and it has breathable holes on the side. It's only $8.99. It's in fairly good condition. Looks a little dirty or torn right there, I think. I'm not sure. I'll have to inspect it further, but it's really, really cute. This is cute. Seska. Hmm. Okay, you guys, here's that bag that I was telling you about the Vitorino. It's huge. And then here's the Barkin bag. It's pretty cute. I think Peanut needs it. I wonder if Peanut will actually fit. Also, I found like this Pony Express sweater. It's pretty fabulous, like the digital camo. I think I kind of like it. I just want to wear it around. Um, what color is it? Oh, it's yellow. So it's not the color of the day, which is fine. I don't know, I think I want it. It's so cute. Made in Canada. Get it. Check out this vintage Stussy shirt, you guys. It has like the cassette tapes on it. It has this Stussy logo. It's extra large. It looks really worn in and really fun. It also has a purple tag to go with the purple color. <gasps> I think I'm gonna get it. It's only $1.99. And then I'm looking at some more stuff. Just looking for super comfy shirts, I think, at the moment. I also found this really cool <laughs> Nike shirt. It says Unfair. Really cool. It's um, authentic Nike size large. Again, another cool shirt. I think I'm gonna get that also. Oh, look at this sweater. It is like kind of cool and kind of ugly at the same time. All right, you guys, it's tchotchke time. <gasps> Ooh, what is this? $7.99. Is it broken anywhere? I don't know, this lid looks a little bajiggity. Like, what is this lid about? I need to check and inspect this thing because it's kind of cute and I think it would look really cute in my mom's bathroom. I would put it in mine, but it's way too small. Well, my bathroom is way too small and this is way too huge for it. It would be like the only thing inside of it. Alright, you guys, we are looking at the plates. Don't really see anything too exciting. Under here. Oh no, that doesn't look too exciting. Oh, that yellow plate I wanted isn't here anymore. Should have gotten it back then. This 
looks pretty interesting though. It's cracked on the side. Tabletops. I like that tabletops on the way. Oh, look at this. That's fun and whimsical. They have this heart shaped plate. And this is very interesting as well. One ninety nine. Let's see if they have any Le Creuset. Alright you guys, just check out this bag that I found. It was on one of the carts. Why am I not focusing? Alright, check out this Michael Kors bag that I found. It's the Michael Kors Hamilton. In like a, it's like an orange, pumpkin orange color. With gold hardware, really, really pretty. It's not that bad inside. And the exterior is pretty good. Just a little scuff right here on the bottom. And then the hardware, I mean, it rubs off. That's just the nature of the hardware because it's so heavy. But it doesn't have like the Michael Kors thing right here. I think it usually says something though. And then it does have like a little code at the bottom. Or a little code, but like the little serial number tag thing. And now I lost it and can't find it. Okay, sorry, my battery died. But made in China AP one 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 two. So I don't know. Is this like an outlet bag? Is it authentic? I don't know, but it feels really good. I've held a lot of these bags before, and they feel exactly like this. So I don't know. Twenty five dollars. Not too bad for the Hamilton, which I think is around over $300. And then I found this vintage Dooney, which is really cute, but the sides are already peeling off. But I love the color and I love the size, it's so cute. It's definitely vintage, all weather leather. And this one is a good price at only $14.99. And it's one of the vintage ones that are made in USA. The leather has held up beautifully, except for the corners, which I mean would probably get the most wear. Anyway, on the back, look at this, but I love this color combination. I think it's gorgeous and so cute and still has so much life, but it's a little expensive. I don't think anyone will want it for the price that it is here, which I think is a good price for this bag if I were to just buy it for myself, but so cute, look at that, so adorable. So I think I'm gonna hold off on this Mike, on this Dooney and Burke, but I don't know about this Michael Kors. I think I'm just gonna pass on it, I think. I, I'm gonna think about it. Okay guys, upon further investigation, I'm pretty sure that this is in fact an authentic Michael Kors bag. Um, I guess what happened here, which does happen, I've seen it happen before, is that the imprint, like the heat stamp has like raised and you can't really see it, or well, you can't see it all really, but you can still feel it like where it was, which is crazy that it happens. Oh, look, you can kind of see it in the light. Can you see that, the local course? Anyway, so this is in fact authentic. $25 is this deal for this bag. It's actually in a very good condition, it just needs conditioning. And I don't know if I can condition this out of its dirt or if it needs a color repair, but I think we can manage to do that little part. Other than that, the bag is really, really great. So I'm definitely, definitely gonna get this bag. It's so great and I love, love, love this color. I really think it's a beautiful color. It's like a bright orange, so. Just left the store, I'm making my way inside the car. I found some really good stuff, so don't forget to subscribe so you guys will be updated when I do post the haul video for all this really great stuff that I found. And I will see you guys later. Hope you guys had fun. Let me know down below what your favorite item was that we found. Mine was probably the Michael Kors bag in that glass canister. Really awesome. Now you know two of the things that I got because obviously I had to get them. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.